Now in this next part, we're asked to find the velocity of the particle p at time t seconds. So we know that it's at, say, this point here, at t seconds, and its velocity would be a vector that is tangential to the curve. And let's just say that that velocity then is v. Now to get this velocity vector, what we need to do is realize that v is always equal to the rate of change of the position vector, r in this case, with respect to the time t. So we just need to differentiate this with respect to t. And so therefore if we do that, if you differentiate 3t with respect to t, you just get 3, and that's the i component. When it comes to the j component, differentiate 10, that goes to 0. Differentiate 5t with respect to t, and you've just got 5. And if you differentiate minus 4.9t squared with respect to t, you've got two lots of the minus 4.9, which is going to be minus 9.8. And then we drop the power by 1, so it's minus 9.8t. And then that's in the j direction. And the units would be meters per second. Okay, so that should give us our velocity vector.